Hey guys, I am so excited about today's video because I actually created a summer book tag. I had a lot of fun creating these questions and thinking of answers to these questions, so I'm just really excited to share it with you. So without further ado, let's jump into the questions. Question number one, to kick off summer, you're headed to the beach. What contemporary puts you in the summer mood? So for this, I chose The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. If you know anything about Nicholas Sparks, you may like him, you may hate him. I personally do like a lot of his books. He creates such good characters and such good plot lines, and I find that's especially true with The Last Song. So this is about a young teenager who's having this rebellious stage. She lives with her mother and her younger brother, and her mother sends her to her father for the summer with her younger brother. Brother, and her father lives on this beach and during this summer the main character she finds love there's heartbreak there's family drama it really covers a whole gamut of feelings and emotions and it's so well done it takes place on the summer it's the perfect summer read question number two at the end of your beach day you witness the most beautiful perfect sunset what book has the perfect ending so for this I chose maybe someday by Colleen Hoover this is my favorite new adult novel that I have read this whole book was actually actually just really good but there was something about the ending which I obviously am not gonna say how it ends but it just tied the whole story up so beautifully it just made me so happy when I finished reading the book it was just such a good ending I would recommend this book if you're looking into new adult I would start with maybe someday because I absolutely love this book question number three finally the blockbuster you've been waiting for has finally come to the theaters what summer book release have you been most anticipating for me I chose the unexpected everything by Morgan Matson. I mean, there's dogs on the cover. It clearly looks like a summer book. I'm just dying to get my hands on this. Hopefully I'll be getting it sometime within the next month. Question number four. Unfortunately, the forecast says rain all day. What dark mystery thriller are you planning to binge read on this dreary day? For this, I'm choosing Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. I actually just finished this book with a group of my friends and it was crazy. It was so dark and creepy and twisted. I mean, just for starters, it follows this young woman now, Libby Day, whose family has been brutally murdered when she was seven years old, her mother and her two younger sisters. And Libby says that her older brother, Ben, committed these crimes, but now present day Libby, as more of a middle-aged, youngerish adult, is trying to find out who the murderers actually were. So this is a really good, creepy, rainy day kind of read. Question number five, it's time for the summer trip you've been waiting for. On this vacation, you're planning on knocking out a trilogy or book series. What series is that? I definitely had to go with the Mortal Instruments. I just find that I can marathon read all of these books. I don't get bored. They're so action-packed and wonderful with the fantasy and the romance and the friendships and just the plot is just incredible. I love the Mortal Instruments series. Pretty much all of all of them infernal devices included and then the second cycle of the mortal instruments so i would definitely pick this book if to marathon read on a summer vacation question number six it's the perfect clear night for stargazing with friends looking up at the stars makes you voice your deep thoughts about the universe and life in general what book has stirred up thought-provoking conversation so this book i actually finished a few months ago it's the storyteller by jody picole i'm not really going to say anything about the plot because i feel like as soon as i start talking about it i'm giving stuff away but this book is so ethically confusing. Joda Picole really writes these novels that kind of change the way you think. This one deals with murder, suicide, mercy and forgiveness, and it's just really trippy to read. Like you think you're gonna think one thing when you start it and by the end of the book you're just like, it's confusing. And the final question, question number seven. Oops, it's three days until school starts and you haven't yet read the summer reading required book. What book have you been putting off reading? For this one, it's gonna sound kind of funny because I just used this book in another question, but I've actually been putting off reading Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. It's the start of the new cycle with hers, and we've seen the characters in the final books of like the second cycle Mortal Instruments. And so I love these books, I love the characters, I love everything, but for some reason, I'm just hesitant to pick up Lady Midnight. It's not because I've even really heard negative things about it, I just feel like, I'm afraid that it's not going to live up to the other books, and so I've been putting off reading it. So if you've read Lady Midnight, please let me know if it's worth it, if I should give it a shot. I'm just very hesitant because I love Cassandra Clare and her writing, and I just don't want her writing to bore me. I just always want it to be fresh and exciting, and so I'm just nervous to read another book series by her with kind of the same premise. 
So those are all the questions I've come up with for my summer reading tag. I would love it if you would do this tag as well. The questions are in the description. Just leave a comment to let me know if you're going to do the video. I'd love to see your video or just link it down below for me to check out. Thank you so much for watching and happy reading.